Hey everyone, welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennials. In this video, we are going to see another SQL interview question. And this question is that how you can retrieve alternate event record from a table in SQL. So suppose you are in an interview and your interviewer asks you is that you have a table in front of you. So for example, you have this employee table and this table contains employee ID and salary. And the question is that you have to get the alternate rows. With this alternate rows, you have to make sure that the alternate records which you are extracting or which you are getting as a result set should be at an even row number. So from top to bottom, when you will see this employee one, which is on the top of this table is row one. Then the employee two is at row number two. Employee 3 is at row number 3. Employee 4 is at row number 4. So you have to get the even record or the even number of rows from the table. And the output should be something like this. That employee 2, employee 4, employee 6, employee 8 and employee 10. Which is at even row number within the table. So let's go to our SQL workbench and see how we can get this output. So we are in our SQL workbench and let's open that employee salary table so that we can review the data and understand how we can get the desired output. So we'll simply write select star from SQL interview is my database and then I'll write the table name. Okay, so this is our table and we have to get the alternate even rows to get the alternate even rows what you can do simply is that you can put a rank function or you can use the row number function in your output and then you can divide that row number by 2 and if it has remainder then you have to exclude that row from your output and if it doesn't have any remainder then you can get that record as a result set in your output so let me show you what I'm talking about so first of all what we'll do is that we'll simply use this row number function over here okay and we'll use row number over After this row number and over clause, we have to give the order by clause and then we'll put employee ID. Let's put employee ID as descending or let's keep ascending. Okay, as row sequence. And now if I run this query, you will see that earlier when I ran that query select a star from this table name then employee 1 was on the first row employee 2 was on the second row now after adding this row number function we are getting the same result set the only difference is that we have this row sequence here right and this row sequence the column which we created right now gives the row number in our output now what we can do is that we can basically take out this row sequence which is even so I'm highlighting these row sequence which is even so 2 4 6 8 and 10 now you might think is that how we can get this even number so we can simply use this mode function in SQL to get the even rows as our output so what we'll do is that we'll simply use select star from and okay, uh, select a star from and we'll use this query as our sub query okay and we'll give it a name as let's put v okay and after this we'll put a where condition saying that where mode of this v dot row sequence which we have created over here v dot 
row sequence divided by 2 is equal to 0. Now what this mode function does is that it gives you the remainder and if the remainder is 0 then only get the output or extract the output. So if there is an even number you will get your remainder 0 and if there is an odd number then you will have a remainder 1. So this where condition will filter out all of those row sequence which has even numbers here. So let's run this query. Now you can see that you have row sequence 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So this is how basically you can use this row number function and the mod function to retrieve the alternate even record from a table in SQL. If you want to learn about more SQL interview questions then you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you want to learn about the SQL from basics then you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.